Hi guys, Cobbler Tobias here from Wyatt and Dad Cobbler Company. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be recrafting this pair of Red Wing Iron Rangers. Uh, however, this customer not only sent us these boots, but he also sent us this bottle of whiskey. I love whiskey. Um, in his note with the boots, he said that he wanted us to capture the essence of this bottle of whiskey in the recraft of these boots. Now at first, I wasn't really sure how I was going to manage that, but after learning a little bit of the history of this bottle of whiskey, I'm really excited to do this job. And I hope you guys uh, follow along and, and figure this out with me and we can do this together. So just a brief history on what I found out is this is the first rye whiskey that has been produced in Dayton, Ohio since Prohibition. And Prohibition is like one of my favorite eras in American history. Uh, so that is really cool. So realistically, the only way to capture the essence of this bottle of whiskey into the recraft of these boots is to just to dive right into the whiskey. Now, there is a really cool saying on the back of this bottle of whiskey, and it's from Frank Detrick. It's his motto. Uh, and that's who this bottle of whiskey is named after, I believe. Um, and let me see. Let me get this right. And it's, while we live, let's live. Oh. oh, well, I was hoping for a little bit more dapper, but this will do. Uh, let's go fix some shoes. Now that we're in the studio, I do want to talk a little bit more about these boots themselves. This is the Red Wing Iron Ranger. This particular boot is the 8111, which is their amber harness model. This is an older model. It came with a nitrile cork, oil resistant sole. It doesn't have any tread to it. I think nowadays they come with the Vibram 430 sole, which has a little bit of a lug pattern to it. Um, and they retail for about $330, um, which is a really good price point for such a great boot. Uh, what really excites me about working with this boot today is that it's just with their iconic history uh, in American heritage, it just pairs up well with a Prohibition themed whiskey. Uh, according to Red Wing's website, they were made originally for iron miners in the 1930s and just has been an iconic like I said, an iconic uh, part of American fashion ever since. Some notable features on this boot that I really love um, are the heavy leather toe cap on here with the quad stitching across it. It's just a good way to make a boot, a work boot, because a lot of these workers, they bump their toes or, or scratch them up, and you can replace that leather cap whenever you get them resold. Um, that's another good point is that these are Goodyear welted. It's a piece of leather that gets stitched around the boot that holds the sole on, which means that you can replace this sole over and over again as you wear it out. Now this particular boot has what's called a 270 degree welt, which means that it starts from about this heel counter and just comes around to this other side of this heel counter. It doesn't go all the way around the heel. Um, however, in this build, I will be replacing that with a 360 degree welt, so we will be stitching that around the heel. It'll give it a little bit thicker, more robust look. Um, that's a good thing about Goodyear welted shoes is there is freedom in customization on that end. Uh, you can pretty much do anything that you want. For example, here is another uh, Iron Ranger that we did something a little bit different with. We did a three, 360 split welt. Um, we left it a natural color and we added this old school cork nitrile uh, green sole to it. Um, so that's just an example of some of the things that you can do with these boots. It's really cool. Um, this particular build, the customer gave us a lot of artistic freedom in this. Um, he 
we, he did want to convert it from a rubber sole to a leather sole, uh, but even so that we're doing that, we are going to be capturing the essence of this whiskey into this boot, and I'm really excited about that. Still don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing to do that, uh, but we're going to come up with some cool things along the way, so stay tuned and um, follow along. So let's break out the tools, get our knives sharpened, grab my apron, and let's get to it. So at this point I have it torn down for the most of the way and I just wanted to point out a couple of things. As you see this boot is just in rough shape. This person has gotten these things wet so many times. The actual, the inner sole is just rotten. Um, it's coming right out. Um, you, the shank itself was missing completely. Uh, the insole is uh, separated away from this gemmy, which is this piece of canvas that's stitched around to the inside of the boot. And so it's loose. The boot, you know, if, if that stitching broke from the sole, it will lose its shape. Uh, so we're going to be addressing all of this stuff. Um, we're going to be replacing this foot bed. You can see it just pops right out. Um, it's rotten where the nails went into the heel. It's just falling apart. Uh, so we're going to get rid of that. Um, we're going to replace all of this welting and this gemming um, and guess, put these boots back together. Other than that, the upper is in just excellent shape. Um, they're a little bit dry. We've been kind of working this leather a little bit, getting some of the dirt and oils out of it already. But, um, you know, the liner is all in good shape. It doesn't have any holes or anything in it. Uh, we're going to replace all of this rotten stuff um, and put these boots back to better than new. So let's get right back to it. But wait, not so fast. Before we get into some more music and slow-mo shots, I want to talk to you guys a little bit more about the condition of these boots and the state that they're in and what you can do to prevent this happening to your boots. Um, now, as you can see, the footbed um, is just, it's been wet so many times that it has literally rotted and started to fall and break apart. Uh, some things that you can do to prevent this to happening to your boots is every day when you take your boots off after sweating and working in them or potentially getting them wet, put in some cedar shoe trees. I can't stress this enough. But the cedar will help pull the moisture out, will help keep the shape of the boot, and help keeping these things from falling apart prematurely. Um, so some points on how this boot is made and what makes these boots really awesome. Um, they use a cork filler, which it's terrible to see in this, but it is, this is rotten. Um, a benefit to cork filler over other fillers is that it conforms, it compresses and conforms to the shape of your foot, gives it a better footprint uh, and makes the boot ultimately more comfortable. Um, they also use a really thick leather insole um, and that also will shape to your foot over time and make it feel a lot more comfortable um, as you go. Um, another solid point to these boots is they use what's called a three ribbed metal shank. Um, it's a support that goes from the heel of the boot um, to, along the arch and gives it a really good support. This is a really good shank. We're going to be able to reuse these. I'll be putting new ones in since one was missing in the other boot. Um, but it's just a really good construction of boot. Another thing is they put their heels on with a clinching nail and you can see all of these nails in the heel. Um, it's a basically it's a, a metal nail that goes down and it will hit the last and turn and clinch onto the leather. And that's really cool. Um, and then the heel itself uh, uses washers so that when the nail goes in 
it hits that washer and doesn't go too far. Um, that's about it. Um, oh yeah, one more thing that the I was pointing out before that a lot of times, let me pick this boot up here, that footbed will come loose from this gemming, which is this canvas piece here. Um, and that's actually what this welt, which is this leather piece um, that the sole is stitched onto, um, it'll come loose and it will loses its shape. So once we get that new footbed in there, we're going to run a piece of canvas across there. So that way, if that ever comes loose, this won't happen, this kind of flex there. Um, so I just wanted to talk a little bit more about how these boots are made and what just makes them a good solid boot and fully recraftable, um, which is a really cool thing to see. So um, that's about it. Let's dig in. everything removed that we're going to be taking off the boot while I was doing it I did say that I was going to be replacing this gemming I no longer think that's necessary this is gemming is actually in really good shape it's really strong and there's no reason to replace it whenever taking a boot down to this magnitude it's best if you can reuse whatever you can I like to reuse the old footbeds and soles as templates and that way it maintains the original shape of the boot whenever you don't have a last or a shoe form that the boot was made on originally, it's really easily uh, misshapen. So we're, we're gonna try to reuse that. Um, we will be reinforcing it. Uh, we're gonna be putting this canvas across there to give it uh, some reinforcement so it doesn't get flexed like that. And uh, there's one more thing. I did come up with a really cool idea for what we can do for the sole as far as capturing the essence of this Dietrich whiskey. And so I'm excited about that. I hope you guys stay tuned for it. Uh, it's going to be really cool. So in the meantime, I'm going to grab some welting. We're going to stitch it on and get these boots to the point where we're ready for the soles. Let's get boot building.
let that heat and cool, and I'm going to go take a break. Let's see, what did people do in their free time during Prohibition? So the boots are done, but before we show you the final product, we're going to do this whiskey right. We're going to dapper up this outfit and head on over to a proper speakeasy. <laughs> done and we put a hurting on this whiskey uh, that is some really good stuff um, you know I'm I, again I'm not sponsored by this company uh, I'm not sponsored by Red Wing um, they, this was just sent in as a gift and I just I really enjoy that um, the customer again wanted us to capture the essence of this into the recraft of the boot and I think we nailed it uh, we did a leather sole and a leather 
combination heel. We used a JR leather, which is the most durable soling leather. And honestly, this is the first time I ever put a leather sole on an Iron Ranger. So I was really curious to see how that would come out. And I just think it really did a good, it did justice to this boot. I wouldn't recommend, you know, mining iron in it, but uh, it's really, it just plays with the aesthetic really well. So uh, we did a really cool bottom stain to it to really capture the essence of this whiskey. We had our dye specialist Angel. Uh, you can see some more of her work at Dye by Angel. We had her hand burn in the Dietrich Company logo uh, into the waist of this shoe. I think that's really cool. Uh, it's we, we did it in the waist so that when the guy wears it, that won't get touched. That will stay there for a very long time. It'll be really cool. Um, now this whiskey recently won a double gold medal in the World Spirits competition. So we wanted to kind of play into that. So we did a double row of brass um, throughout the boot. We did uh, a gold stitch around that top of that welt and a red stitch around the bottom to kind of play in with the colors of the bottle. Um, and I just think it just came out really well. We did a nice uh, kind of bourbon um, coloring to it and we did kind of a wave, liquidy wave uh, detail to it, which was really cool. Um, these boots are just in great shape. Uh, you saw when I opened them up that they were just rotten. The footbed was rotten. Well, there was a shank missing in one of them. We replaced all of that. It's like a new boot with a nice patinaed upper. So that's, that's really neat. Um, I'm glad that this was able to come to fruition. Um, I had a really good time shooting this video. I would love to do some more. If you like this content and you want to see more of it, definitely like, subscribe, and share. And if you have maybe something in mind that you would like to see us do and want to challenge us to try to capture in the essence of a recraft, send it our way. Mail us um, anything you want. We're, we're always up for a challenge. So um, that all being said, I'm going to get back to drinking. So while we live, let's live. Thank you.